Welcome back everyone. Now before we start learning the concepts in Vue, there is one more topic that I want you to be aware of. And that is the .view file. In the previous video, I talked about the .view file in one or two sentences. In this video, let's understand a bit more about this file type. A .view file is a custom file format that uses HTML-like syntax to describe a portion of the UI. For example, in our Hello World project, we have two .view files. App.view, which is responsible for the logo in the UI, and it contains the Hello World.view file, which is responsible for all the links in the UI. So, a .view file is responsible for a portion of the UI. Next, let's understand the code that goes inside a .view file. Each .view file consists of three types of top-level language blocks. A template block, a script block, and a style block. The template block is like the HTML of your UI. It defines the structure. The script block is where the data and the logic for the template is maintained. You could say it is like the JavaScript for your UI. The last block is the CSS block where you specify the styles related to the markup written in the template block. As you can see, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. That is all you need to define a fully functional and styled portion of your user interface. So in view, instead of dividing the code base into three huge layers, which then come together to form the UI, the code base is instead divided into one or more dot view files where each file is responsible for its own markup, styles, and logic. What you do have to keep in mind though, is that the browser does not understand what a dot .view file is. So Webpack with the view loader is going to parse this file, extract each of the three blocks, pipe them through other loaders if necessary, and finally assemble them back into a format that browsers can understand. Since we are using the Vue CLI, all of this is already taken care of. Like I mentioned in the earlier lecture, the Vue CLI can quickly get you started building Vue apps without you having to focus on the build process. All right, now that we have a bit more information about the .view file, Let's discuss two more points which will set us up to finally get started with some code in the next video. The first point is about components. Right now, we have a folder called components where we have a .view file called hello world. In view, a .view file is called a single file component. Hence, the folder is called components as it can contain one or more of these single file components. In view, if you hear someone use the term component, they are referring to a .view file. However, when learning Vue as a beginner, there is a lot to learn with just one .view file. We don't have to worry about the component architecture to begin with. So to keep this simple, we are first going to focus on all the concepts that can be learned using just one .view file. When we have a good understanding of how the template, script, and style blocks work together, we will then dive deep into the world of components in Vue. So let me go back to VS Code and delete the components folder. I'm also going to remove the hello world custom HTML and also the related code in the script block from app.view. In fact, let me also remove the logo so that we can have a fresh start. Now, I promise you that we will come back to the topic of components later on in the series when it will make much more sense. Right now, all we need is just this app.view file to understand a whole bunch of concepts that Vue has to offer. The second point I wanted to discuss is about what we are going to learn 
pretty much for the first half of the series. And that is about the template syntax. A minute ago, I mentioned that the template block is responsible for the markup and I also mentioned that the script block is where the data and logic for the template is maintained. But how exactly is this data maintained? Well, as it turns out, the default object that is exported from the script block can contain a property called data, which is a function. This function returns an object that represents the data that can be used by the template block. Let's say we need to display a name in the HTML. The object would then contain a key called name with a value of Vishwas. Now, what we need to understand is how to make use of this data in our script block to render the name in the template block. Let me tell you that a major portion of working with a .view file is wiring up the data and the logic to the markup. That is, connecting data present in the script block to the HTML present in the template block. This is the declarative programming approach I was mentioning in the very first video. All you have to do is let Vue know how you want to bind your data to the HTML and Vue will take care of the rest. And it is this part of letting Vue know what exactly we want the UI to look like is what we will start learning in the next video. In other words, we will be starting off with the template syntax. So let's finally get started with some code. I'll see you guys in the next video.